Hey guys, Big Flip here. This is a video in reference to my latest submission that I got from PCGS. I've already opened the boxes. I knew what the grades were when they um, when I looked them up on the website a week ago. I got them a couple days ago. I'm doing the video now. So, do you think all the ones in the holder that aren't tipped up are 70s or 69s? Do you think the ones that are tipped up are 69s or 70s? Let me know your thoughts. This is 15 piece, no, 15 Morgans and 15 piece dollars. So out of the 15, if you look, two of them are different from all the other ones. And out of the Morgans, three of them are different from all of the other ones. So, uh, I'll just let you know. So this is a 69. First Strike 69, these are basically break even coins at this time. Um, all these coins are not worth a whole lot right now. We'll see what happens in a year's time. These are going to be some coins that I have to sit on, but um, it's very neat that I got uh, 12, 13 out of the 15 of the piece dollars came back at a 70. Okay, that's, they're, they're super neat looking. But if you look right up here, and I took pictures of these coins before they headed out, and I don't have a single picture of any of these coins with that mark right there on it. So there's one mark on that 69. So that's, if you notice, if you notice there's a couple little scuffs in this coin that I just don't believe were there when I put them out there because I looked at every single coin. Remember, I had about 40 coins of each and I sent some back to the United States Mint. So I think that piece right there, that little mark there, and then these two right here, right there and right there, what gave me the 69 on this one. Now let's look at this one. This one's got a flaw back here behind her neck. Where is it at? Oh. I don't remember exactly where this one is. But I took pictures of every one of these coins before they went out. And I for sure didn't see this one. I'll have to look a little bit further into this one. But, so two of them out of 15 came back at a 69. Those are break-even coins. Then I ended up with this one, this Morgan. This is a 69 also. And if you look, she's got a little bit of a flaw right there below her chin. Look right down here. You're going to see it when I tip it. See it there? And right in front of her nose. And do you see that little bit of chatter up here between the E and the P? I'm telling you. I'm telling you, when I sent these out, that wasn't there. I'm thinking a little bit of damage happened when they were working on them. What was super weird is the last two coins of this submission got 69s. And I know for a fact I looked at everyone and took a picture of everyone, except they mixed up the coins. So I, if I put it on the line, um, that coin is not the same coin that was on the line from the get-go. Why would you break them up and put them on separate lines? I tried to keep everything in order so that I had pictures according to the coin. So I don't know what line number that coin is, but I do see the flaw in that coin right there between the E and the P. And then let's look at these two. Here's the other 69. And if you notice right, oh, this is the one behind her neck by these two stars. That star and this star, there's those little marks there. I'm telling you, I did not see those marks when I when I sent them out. I'm super happy to have 12 out of the 15 of the Morgans that came back at a 70. Here's the last one. I don't know. You guys determine what would you do. There's not much I can do. I can't much prove it. But if you notice right here on this A... Straight across from the A right in here, you're going to see a little mark there. See that mark? And 
And if you notice all the way up here, right there, I'm telling you that mark was not there. So I don't know what they're doing over there, whatever. I'm, I I automatically wake up at 8 o'clock in the morning and call PCGS just so I can get on the waiting list so I can ask them a question. So, because I have a question from the previous night, but it takes three hours to get the question answered by the time you wait in the queue. In the queue. Um, I don't know. I, I'm almost really over it at this point, but here's another thing. My previous video that I did on the Denver Morgans that I submitted. I'm so sorry about the phone. That's what happens around here all day long. Um, the Denver Morgans that I submitted and got back a week ago. Um, so BCGS billed me for those Denver Morgans additional monies. And I called him and I said, what's this $79 additional fee um, on the Morgan dollars? And she says, it's because you didn't, you didn't, because the, the price tag of the coin was way above what you said it was. And I said, well, if you guys are grading the coins, and I don't know what the coins are going to be graded out at, how do I know? how much money to put down as the value of the coin. If I, if I don't know that they're going to hit a 70, why would I tell you that it's going to be an $800 coin? Why wouldn't I just say I paid $80 for it? That's my, that's my number. But they said as soon as they gave it a 70, which is a great grade, they said, um, the price tag went up. So they charged me an additional $79 for the two Denver Morgans that I got back from them. And I said, what's the breakdown on that? And she says, well, you used vouchers. And I said, let's just not even go down the voucher road. And why is that? She says, the vouchers are only good up to a certain number, a certain price tag. And then beyond that, you have to pay. And I'm all like, well, then why didn't we use vouchers on the 69s? Why would you use them on the 70 Denvers? And she says, that's just the way we do it. Long story short, I got billed an additional $79 because I caught MS-70s on two Denver's Morgans 2021s. 2021 Denver Morgans that I caught 70s on cost me another $79. And they just automatically billed my card. And with no, with no heads up, no nothing. So I talked to them and she said, that's just what we do. So uh, whatever, whatever, I don't, whatever, I don't get it. Okay. I just don't have, I just don't have it in me to keep fighting them right now. So, awesome submission. I'm really excited about these. I got 13 peace dollars back at 70, and I got 12 Morgans back at 70. So, out of 15 each, I think that's a really good, really. I, I, I think I think that's acceptable. I tried to put them all on a separate line so I knew exactly what coin was what and where it went or whatever, but they mixed them all up and they just put it on a line and it didn't coincide with my um, my submission form. So it is what it is. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. If I do have some other videos coming out this week. I'm supposed to be getting my 21... Six more 21 Denvers back. We'll see how those grade out. See what they do on those, whether they re-up um, the price tag. And then I also have all my Morgan dollars coming back from 2023. And they are going to be um, just the regular Morgans. So those are coming back also. And then I have a couple of foreigns that I submitted. And then I have a plethora of miscellaneous stuff. So, here's another thing PCGS did. They're just wearing me out. I just automatically wake up to an alarm clock and, and call them so I can get in queue. They found a variety on one of my coins, my a 10, a 10 coin submission. They found a variety on it. 
and they automatically sent it to Variety Verification. So they pulled it out of my submission and sent it to Variety Submission or Verification. And I'm all, well, that means I have to pay shipping, handling fees, and all that on one coin that's running through the house. And it's going to blow up the cost of that one coin. And she says, yeah, but you want the variety on it, don't you? And I said, I didn't, I didn't even know the variety on that coin. But, yeah, of course I want the variety, but no, I don't want to pay the additional monies. It's going to be like an additional $50 for them to run it through variety and then to handle it and then to ship it to me. It's going to be probably more than $50. And I said, why, why are we doing it that way? She says, sir, if you want to, you can wait until all of your coins are done submitting and then we'll send them all back to you in the same box. And I said, well, I kind of thought that's what I did by sending them all to you in the same box. There were five submissions in the same box. I figured I would get the five submissions back um, in the, in one box. But no, they broke them all up and I had to pay multiple, whatever. It, that, that, that's that. But now I have to pay for one single variety piece dollar. That's a 21. I would have never even done that. But it better be a really good variety, and I don't even know what the variety is. So PCAGS, you are all over the place. I don't understand. And another thing is if you want to talk to them and you call them at 8 a.m. Mountain Time, which is 7 a.m. Pacific Time, because they're in Irvine, California, if you call them at 701 Pacific Time, you're already 15 people into the queue. If you call them at 7 o'clock and 5 seconds after, you're already 10 people into the queue. I don't understand it. So by that time, it's three hours later and they call you back. If you catch the phone call, you catch it. If you don't, you don't. So a little rant and rave here. Um, I hope you guys like the video. I hope you understand where I'm coming from with all this. Till I see you again, do something nice for somebody to pay for whatever chance you get. And yeehaw, I really, really like the piece. Proof. I do like I do I I really would like to see it in 90% instead of 3 nines fine but that's what it is and then I really do like the Morgans also. I think had it been in 90% it would be a much prettier coin but that's my opinion. All right guys. Hope you enjoyed the video so so sorry it was long-winded. Till I see you again do something nice and I'll see you on the next one. Please be good people take care.